Hey guys, yeah, we're talking about a great Virginia Beach tradition, the American Music Festival. Every Labor Day, it is the great send off to summer, the official last celebration. This is a festival where kids can play fun games. Melody, you come out here every week. What do you like about this? Um, mermaid. The mermaid. Yeah. And you're going to be singing tonight on stage as Ariel. A lot of little girls out there would love to hear a sneak peek. Okay. Up where they walk, up where they run. Good. The more you relax, the more you focus on your car, the higher you'll make it go. Relax your fingers, your thumb, all the way through. I'm guessing by your reaction, that's your card. The oh, my gosh, that is my book. card. And and see, now I feel kind of magical, too. <laughs> there you go. Because it's been a long time since I've tried a little hula hooping, so I'm going to see if I can pull it off. I've been watching the kids. All right, well, we got the Macarena going on, some hula hooping. Thank you. The King is such an entertainer. We'd, we'd like to get a little bit of that tonight. Are you lonesome tonight? Absolutely, guys. It's a beautiful day out here. I've talked to a lot of the tourists that just got into town or a lot of locals who are down here just enjoying the sunshine. A nice breeze out here on the ocean front. We can't show you right now, so stay with News Channel 3. We will have the human volcano coming up. Hey guys, it's a beautiful night for some baseball. We are here at War Memorial Stadium, home of the Peninsula Pilots, where they are gearing up for a big game tonight. And all of us here at News Channel 3 want you to come out because it's News Channel 3 night. You know you can get a dollar off admission if you just mention News Channel 3. It is a great night. Let's take a look at the Pilots. They're doing some batting practice right now. And this team is made up of college players from all over the country. These are very promising players looking at maybe getting into the big leagues, looking to get noticed. It's a great way to see some fabulous baseball up close and in person. You can see the stands are so close to the field out here. We're going to talk to the biggest Little Pilots fan coming up a little later. Manager Hank Morgan gave me my own bat. I'm going to take part in a little batting practice. I'm going to practice giving out the first pitch. We're going to meet some local players and much, much more. We're spending Friday at the ballpark, so we hope you'll stay with us. Back to you guys. I've been watching you guys with your batting practice. It looks so easy. Give me some pointers here because David's going to throw me some balls. All right. Well, I know you played Little League back in the day. I so did. We can bring this back. All right. Um, really, the, the key is just to stay loose, not really muscle up on the swing. So okay. And should I stand through. further back? Um, yeah, this right right here. Uh, okay. This is from the plate is about right. good. Well, let's and try it. Let's try one and then you tell me what I'm doing wrong. Right, you stand back there so I don't hit you. Okay. All right, really try and stay loose here. <laughs> and take the ball out of the way. T try and take the ball to right field. <laughs> All right, now, David, I need it right here. Really try and relax those hands. And All right. Ball get to you. Kind of jumping at the ball. I almost hit Van, who is running our camera right now. So there you go. There you go. Phil's telling me to keep Stop. loose. Stay loose. And uh, I'm going to keep trying this. Balance. Yeah, we're having so much fun out here. We're at War Memorial Stadium, as you guys said, and there's so much history here. It's been here since 1948, and so, Henry Morgan, you're talking about updates because this is your 12th season here at War Memorial Stadium. What are we seeing that's new up here? Well, we're always doing little patches, but most significantly this year, we have a brand new roof and press box. The old roof served us for 62 years, and the press box as well, of course. And the press box is state-of-the-art, media-ready. And it looks like you're surrounded by all your little friends. This is Juliet at, like, four years old. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yes, you know, this is uh, our, one of our friends. This is the biggest Little Pilots fan, Dorothy, here. And she loves to come see the game with Mommy and Daddy. What do you like about the Pilots game? Yeah. Good. Yeah, it's very good. All right, now Scott and Selena bring Dorothy and little Scott out here all the time. What's what's fun about this for families? The fans and Slider is the best, especially for the kids. The kids love Slider. And right, now Dorothy? he's the mascot, right? Who is he? He's a big bird. She was telling me about him before. Where News Channel 3's Juliet Bickford has traded the beach for the ballpark. And Juliet, you've been having a pretty good time out there. Oh my gosh, we're having so much fun. Peninsula Pilots are going to take the field at 7.05 for their game. And people are already starting to get here for the excitement. We have the biggest Little Pilots fan right here. This is Dorothy. Can you come up here on your stage? There you go. And Dorothy, turn around right here and sing your song. One, two, three. 
Juliet, you have the honor of throwing out the first pitch. Are you ready? All right, Kurt, I'm trying to get ready. I'm here in the bullpen where they practice throwing, and I have Jake Cave here. You just graduated from Kickatan High School. This is the first year they've actually let high school graduates play before they went to college. What's it like? Um, it's, uh, it's definitely cool. It's an experience, you know, going from high school to play with all these college guys. It's, it's fun. And you have a bright future. Talk about your options. Um, I'm committed to play baseball at Louisiana State University, but I got drafted by the Yankees, so I'm just waiting to see what we're going to do. Wow, how about that? All right, well, they're trying to decide who's going to start pitching tonight, either Jake or or me. So he's going to give me a few pointers here. We're going to practice it. You go first, Jake. Okay, y'all. Um, first, you want to, you know, you want to sit in here and you, you want to come sit. Come sit right here, glove in there. You want to either good leg lift and then come through and follow through. All right, so good leg lift. You have a little attitude. All right, so here we go. Uh, oh, so that. You can't smile when you're pitching. Oh, I can't smile you're, when you're, I'm you're pitching. No, That's you really gotta hard. Mean. You got to be mean. All right, so show me how to do it. You want to come here with a good, good setup. You gotta be good. Leg lift, come through. Right leg lift. All right, so I'm gonna try to catch this. There we go. It was right in the sun, too, so that was tough. All right, so I gotta get a little more attitude and yeah. try not to smile. Yeah, that's a lot better. There you go. Yes, all right, so was that a little better? That was a lot better. I'm not sure if they're gonna let me play, but remember Jake Cave, I'm a, I have a feeling you're gonna hear his name a little bit more often. Come out here to News Channel 3 night. We're gonna have much more from out here at the ballpark coming up next. Two and she had it. And she's the friendly pitcher, see? You know, that's gonna distract the batter, you know? <laughs> we understand that your guest eats fire. Yeah, that's right. You know, you see some pretty outrageous things here at the oceanfront. You haven't seen anything until you go to Beach Street, USA. That is every night. Families can come out here and see some great performances. I want to come over and show you Dallas, the fire guy. Oh, boy. I'm going to take a step away here because this looks a little bit scary. That is a lit torch. And Dallas, you've been doing B Street USA for four years now. Yes. What's so cool about it? Uh, everything about it's cool. It's where all the families come out to hang out every night in Virginia Beach. And wow. Okay. That was pretty cool stuff. All right. And we have an audience out here, Dallas. I think everybody is pretty impressed. So how long did it take to perfect that one? Uh, I've been doing that for about 25 years. Now we've got a few clouds, so it's cooling down nicely. Just a time for sand stock. Think Woodstock with a beach theme and a whole new generation of people. This is the 17th Street stage, and they are gearing up for, oh my goodness, look, it's Elvis. That's right, the king is performing here on stage tonight, and I'm going to see if I can get an exclusive interview with him. You can see him singing. Show without me. All right. Well, I wouldn't do that. Now, nice to meet you. we're so excited to have you here. When are you going to be singing tonight? 730. All right. Now, talk a little bit about why you love this show. Sandstock or the Elvis show? Well, the Elvis show, of course. Of course, yeah. Well, I've been an Elvis fan for since I was a little kid. Um, just grew up on Elvis, and you know his music just never dies. So, can you do a little singing for us? Love me tender, love me sweet, never let me go. You have made my life complete. <laughs> well, unfortunately, Elvis, we're out of time, so we'll continue the concert a little bit later. Back to you guys. Thank you very much. Julia, you can scam done out there. All right. Hey, guys, I've been telling you a little bit about Beach Fam Fest. What's really exciting is this is the first Friday of Beach Fam Fest, but this is going to be going on for the next 10 weeks. So you've got lots of opportunity to come out here. This is all about the kids. It's about fun and games, entertainment. It's really fun for the whole family. I want to come over here and introduce you to some of my new friends. What's your name? Omar. Steven. Stephanie. All right, these guys are from Newport News and New York, and they're going to showcase one of the games here. We've got a sailboat race. Everybody get their sailboats ready. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, it's a close one. I never get over how you get this perfectly wonderful assignment. So, of course, you're going to have to do a little work and tell us <laughs> what's up out there. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, I'm just such a lucky girl. You know, Norfolk may be the mermaid city, but tonight 
Virginia Beach could take that title. I am joined by two of the performers from The Little Mermaid. The hurrah players are going to be performing on stage here at 17th Street as part of Beach Fam Fest. And so I have Laquanda and Chandler. You guys are Merce sisters. You guys put on the show. You were the first in the country, right? Yes. Um, we did the um, national pre-release of Mermaid. Um, it was very fun. Um, Tom Schumacher gave us the rights. Uh, it was wonderful. And I loved being with the cast and everything. All right. Now, Chandler, you guys are going to be performing on stage with some of your fellow friends. Tell me who else will be with you. Um, we'll have Ariel, we'll have Flounder, and we'll have Sebastian, and we'll have some of the creatures from under the sea. All right, we want to hear these Merce sisters sing, so I'm going to hand you guys the mic and take it away. Okay. <laughs> she's in love, she's in love. Street performers, all kinds of amazing acts. We have Peter and Ambry here. You guys are all the way from Colorado, but you're local. You're from Virginia Beach. Tell us about your act. Well, our act is called The Boundless Adventures of Peter and Ambry. We do a bunch of crazy, unique stunts, tricks, lots of fire, knives, danger, and excitement. And audience wow. participation. Don't forget about the audience participation. Every Friday night. So if you guys want to Spinning come hubcap Friday, in his teeth. Oh my goodness, swords now. Swords now. Oh, goodness. We have going on right now. All right, round of applause for Peter. That is some amazing stuff. These guys are going to be performing at Beach Street USA. You really do want to check them out. They're going to be at 25th Street, where you can see their full show. They've got a couple more things to show us really quickly here. Ambry, very talented. She said something about fire, so I'm a little worried about this one. Oh, my goodness. And everybody out of the way here. Ambry is talented with this. Oh, boy. Very cool. And Beach Street USA really is about getting all of these wonderful performers from all over to come to the Virginia Beach Oceanfront and put on a fantastic show. Wow. Now, kids, don't try this at home. These guys are professionals. They know what they're doing, and certainly they are talented. All right, you guys, I have to ask, how long have you guys been doing this? Uh, I've been dancing for 14 years. Oh, my gosh. We're going to check in with these guys to see a lot more cool break dancing, but we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. I don't think I'm going to try that one. I was going to say, I think it's time for a little reporter involvement, <laughs> Juliet. Show us your skills. Not going to happen, uh, right? Okay. Maybe next time. <laughs> <laughs> Showing us some pretty cool moves. These are the guys at Beta Moo. You can see them down here at the Virginia Beach Ocean Front. They perform every night as part of Beach Street USA. And like they said, they have a great message for the kids, and they are a lot of fun, very dedicated, having a great time out here at 17th Street right now. Showing off some very cool moves. Really wow. impressive. Now see that? That really worries me. My head wouldn't be able to handle that, I don't think. But these guys are great. So we'll, Very we'll check impressive. back in with you guys in a little bit. Juliet, I hear you have a, a kind of a big graduation happening today. That's right. It was a big moment for me. Everybody loves to see the surfers out here at the ocean front, and I always wanted to try it myself. So last week I got a chance with 17th Street Surf Shop and the Jason Bort Surf School. I checked in with them today to see how I did. Right, East Coast Surfing Championships coming up very soon. Not sure I'm quite ready for that, but a girl can always dream, right? And speaking of big surf out here today, not a lot of folks in the water because we've got some red flags out there telling folks that the surf is pretty tough. So for beginners like me, I think we'll take it easy and stay out of the water, but certainly a lot of fun. And thanks to my friends there at 17th Street. What a rough gig she has tonight, <laughs> right? I'm telling you guys, the weather is gorgeous. Labor Day weekend is a huge weekend. A lot of people are already here for the Rock and Roll Half Marathon. More than 15,000 runners will be participating on Sunday, and they're coming from all over the country. A great group of people. There are more than 120 people on team and training. I heard you guys raised about $400,000. Let's get a little cheer. Yeah. And, and a lot of people here were not runners before. They were people that you just thought, I don't know if I can do this, but you guys have this great network. I mean, I can tell you're all good friends. And and it is that. It's a family. It is. And, and all, all bound together by that cause that's near and dear to their heart. So a lot of cool things going on at the Rock and Roll Half Marathon on Sunday. We have much more coming up here at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. Back to you guys.